I was just about to start recording this video and then I realized that I had no makeup on whatsoever. I mean that's fine, but like if you're filming you'd rather have a flawless face than just like redness pretty much everywhere. Hi guys, I quickly want to apologize for not filming last week. I was super sick and I didn't have a voice so I wouldn't have been able to talk anyways. But now I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling like mostly better. I'm still like a little bit of a sore throat, but other than that I'm feeling pretty much all better so that's why I'm filming today and yeah for this week's video we are doing just kind of like our current favorites like things I've been liking within the past like couple months and yeah I'm really excited to do this I haven't done a favorites video in so long it feels um uh, but yeah let's just hop into the video I do have a subdivide between beauty favorites and non-beauty favorites slash like fashion like movies and stuff like that so we're just gonna start with the beauty favorites my favorite powder recently has been this one from makeup forever this is the hd powder it's just like a translucent setting powder and it's like a loose powder i really like this i don't know why like it just makes my face look flawless but not like cakey or ashy or anything I just really like this and it works really well, especially if you have like a little bit of a darker foundation tone. It helps to like lighten it up a little bit and I really, really like this powder. I just got like a mini one and this is so good. I definitely recommend this and I'm definitely going to repurchase this as soon as I'm done this little one because it just works so incredibly well and I totally recommend this. Like it's just a really, really good powder and it's, I mean it is expensive but it also works like really, really well, especially for my skin. This is a awesome mascara. It's a new mascara that I've been trying recently. This is the Super Sizer Fibers and it's just really nice. It's kind of more of like a more natural mascara than I'm used to wearing, but I really like it. I love the brush and I also love the original Super Sizer, so I was kind of excited. This also just gives me like a little bit of length and a little bit of volume, but not like crazy. If you've seen me with my Voluminous Million Lashes, you know that that's like a super dramatic mascara. This is kind of a more like toned down version of it, but I really, really like it and I totally recommend it. It's at any drugstore so you can go pick it up. I've been using face masks and trying to like treat myself and my skin a lot recently, especially in this new year. So this face mask has been essential. This is the Lush Mask of Magna Minty. I freaking love the way this smells. I just have like a little sample too, but I've definitely used this before and I've absolutely loved it. So I just have a little sample of it, but it smells so good. I've also been using like so many Lush face masks. I love the coffee one. I love this one. I've yet to try the fruit, like the fresh ones, but I do have my recycle. So I'm going to go take it in next time I'm at Lush and get a free one. But this just smells so good and it does such good things. I have oily skin, so this does a lot of wonders, especially for like acne and scarring and blackheads and all that stuff so I really like this and I definitely recommend it if you have oily skin like I do because it just works wonders with your skin. This body lotion has been kind of by my bedside for a really long time. Uh, it's the OPI Avo Juice in Vanilla Lavender. This is so nice right before bed like I just put it all over my body and it's just moisturized and I absolutely love these lotions. You see this a lot at like nail salons but my friend got this for me for my birthday. So I've been trying to use it. I've used quite a bit of it. I'm actually surprised. I didn't think I was using that much. But your skin just feels like so nice and moisturized and you just feel so soft like a baby after you use this. So I definitely recommend this. You can get this. I don't even know. I think you can use that chatters. I've been using dry shampoo religiously recently, recently because I just colored my hair and I don't want to have the color fade. So I haven't been washing it in the shower as much. So I've been using a lot of dry shampoo. This one is so good. It's probably one of the best ones I've tried ever. This is the uh, Professional Sebastian Dry Clean Only Refreshing Spray, so it's a dry shampoo. This is awesome. It doesn't leave any like white patches or flakes. This is what I like about it because I ha do have dark hair, so uh, I don't like it when it leaves like patches, white patches or you can't get it out. So this works awesome and it also does a really good job of like volumizing and like making my hair look alive and not as dead. Because sometimes I find that dry shampoo, it does get the oil out, but then it just looks like flat and not very good. Um, so this one does help with like the volumizing and the texture of my hair. It's also a really good texturizing spray. Um, so I really like this and I definitely 110% recommend it. I don't know where I got it. My mom just kind of like gave it to me. But this is so good. I think anywhere that supplies uh, sh or sells Shaper, you can go pick it up there. But this is like my holy grail dry shampoo. I freaking love this thing so much. And my last beauty favorite is a nail polish. I haven't been wearing nail polish recently, but if I do, I will pick up this one. This is Angora Cardi by Essie. This is a color that I've had on my Pinterest for so long and I've been meaning to go pick it up. But I've just never gone around it, slash never could find it. And then Rachel found it for me from Christmas at the Superstore. And I am so excited. It looks so nice on your nails. It's a nice, like, muted, kind of, like, 
dusty rose kind of color which I love so much it's good for like all year round it's good for fall it's good for winter it's good for like spring and summer so I freaking love this like this is just an incredible nail polish and I really like the formula of Essie polishes and they're nice because you can find Essie like relatively anywhere like it's not hard to find an Essie nail polish as opposed to other ones so I freaking love this and you guys definitely need to try it. It's just a really nice all around color. That's all the beauty favorites I've been loving recently. Now we'll move on to like fashion and TV and other kind of favorites. First fashion favorites are these shoes. I got these for Christmas from Call It Spring. They're from my Nana. I've been wearing these so much recently. They're really nice and versatile. You can wear them with like dresses, skirts, uh, jeans, leggings. I pretty much wear these with everything so I've been rocking these a lot recently and they're just really really comfy I'm surprised because they're I mean they're cheap but they're not like super expensive either but they are really really comfortable and nice to walk in I like how the front is kind of like this leather and then it's kind of like textured on the back which I really like I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that but I freaking love these they're so comfy and I just love rocking these for school but yeah, if you're looking for good shoes, go to Call It Spring or Aldo because they're both owned by the same company. So check them out. Next up, we have the lovely bomber jackets. I have seen bomber jackets pretty much everywhere and I was looking for one for a long time. But I also wanted one that was super warm. So I found this one at Garage. I freaking love it. It's cute and it's also super warm and comfortable. Not on like minus 20 days, but like just on like a colder winter day. Like this is really nice to wear and I, I freaking love it. It's so warm. It's so soft and it's just a really nice bomber jacket and it like looks good on pretty much anyone. I've seen so many people rock these ones and just they look flawless in them. So I love bomber jackets and this one again is just really warm. It's nice for the winter time because you can have a cute bomber jacket but still be warm. And I'm surprised because it was also like $40 and if you think of like a $40 jacket you don't think that you're going to get a good jacket for $40. But I did, I scored one, and this is just so awesome. So I definitely recommend going to the garage to pick up a cute bomber jacket. Not only do they have really cute bomber jackets, but they're also super warm if you live in a winter climate like I do. The next up, I have this choker, and I freaking love this choker so much. I wear this all the time. It's just this black kind of like velvet chain, and then it has two little spikes on the end. This is from Kendra Scott. My mom got it for me for Christmas. She got it when she was in Chicago. And I freaking love this. It's so pretty and I'm just obsessed with this. I wear it so many different ways. I wear it with like dresses. I wear it with like sweaters, t-shirts. I pretty much wear this with pretty much anything that I can find. Um, but I love this and I love the way it looks. Like it's just edgy and just cool. I've really been liking the choker styles like these. My work just came in with ones that have like little like gems on the end and little like crystals. And I really want to get one but I also have this one so I can't really justify having both. But yeah, I just love the way that this choker looks and just any choker in general. Um, but yeah, I really like that one. That one is a little bit more pricey, but I also wear it like all the time. So thanks mom for picking out a really good gift. So my next favorite has been blanket scarves. It has been really cold here in the past couple months. So blanket scarves have been an absolute essential. This one is from Simon's. I have a bunch from Garage. I have, a, I have one from Maritzia and I love wearing them. There's so many different ways that you can wear them, which is why I like them because they're very, very versatile. I wear these as like ponchos, capes, actual scarves. Again, there's just so many different ways that you can wear them. So I freaking love just accessorizing these because they're just so nice. And they're a really good accessory piece too. So blanket scarves, go buy them if you live in a cold climate. Um, and again, you can get them pretty much like anywhere. Like my work sells them. Um, Simon's, Garage, Aritzia. It depends on how much you want to go for. But Simon's and Garage are probably the cheapest alternatives. But yeah, I really like this and it's like super soft too. Like some of them are just so soft that I could just like feel them for days. And the last kind of like tangible favorite that I have is my Swell water bottle. And I was kind of skeptical of buying one of these because I've heard so many people talk about them, but like you never know until you try like if they're actually stay cold. But this actually stays cold like 24 hours and I freaking love them and they're just really nice. My water's still cold and I filled it up yesterday night, so love these things they're so nice they come in a variety of colors and sizes this one's like the medium size and it's around 45 dollars it's expensive but it's worth it if you like cold water because i really like cold water so i freaking love this i have so many of these but this is the one that i've actually like bought for myself so i i love it it's just like and i love the color too i don't know why it's just like bright and cheerful so it makes me want to drink more water so get as well if you want to drink more water. It's all for like tangible kind of like can hold up favorites. I have two favorite TV shows that I've been like watching recently. One that's older and then one that's newer. 
And it's funny because they both star, um, I can't pronounce his last name, but it's like Milo Ventimiglia or something like that. Um, so I've been watching, obviously, Gilmore Girls, if you know, he plays Jess. And I'm on season two, so I don't know, like, too much of what goes on. But tell me down below in the comments what team you're on. Right now, I'm like, kind of, I'm still on Team Dean, but like, I'm kind of leaning towards more towards Jess now. Um, and then I've also been watching This Is Us, and he plays Jack, which is the dad. Oh my god, that show is absolutely incredible. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. It's like one of my favorite shows. And every time it comes on Tuesday night, I'm just like plopped in front of the couch and I'm like, I'm ready to watch This Is Us. I'm excited. And yeah, that's pretty much my two favorite shows recently. And for music favorites, I have a playlist that I've been listening to nonstop recently. And that is my alternative and like indie playlist that I've made on Spotify. So I'll link that down below if you guys want to listen to it. It has like a lot of Mumford and uh, Two Door Cinema Club, Hozier, uh, Kings of Leon. Um, I'm trying to think like who else is in that playlist. Basically a lot of like alternative indie kind of bands. They'll be linked down below so you can go listen to it. But yeah, that's everything that I've been loving recently. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos and you can join the fam. And we will see you guys next Sunday with a new video. Bye!